Good morning. I'm very excited to be hosting Coffee with Bob today and even more excited that I'm hosting here in El Paso, Texas. Now the reason that I'm here is because I am visiting Lydia Patterson Institute, one of the hallmark missions of the Methodist Church. Lydia Pas Patterson, for whom the school was named, was born in 1850 in Kentucky. In 1872, she got married and she and her husband moved to Sherman, Texas. Over the next 11 years, her husband passed away and three of their four children had died. Lydia moved on to El Paso where she began teaching downtown at a girl's school. Now Lydia was a member of the Methodist Church, committed to missions and devoted in her love for God. She knew she was called to share God's love and bring hope to the world. She would get married to a businessman by the name of Millard Patterson and she started to see that the local Hispanic boys were not allowed to attend school unless they could speak English. She began organizing schools so that they could not only learn English but receive a good education and a Christian upbringing that could lead them into the ministry. She wanted to grow God's kingdom. She wanted to change lives. Sadly, Lydia passed away from cancer in 1909, and her husband Millard was wanting to find a way to honor his wife, and so he gave $75,000 to build a school that she'd always dreamt of. Now, $75,000 in 1909 would be about $2,200,000 today. And since that beginning, Lydia Patterson Institute has gone on to change the lives of thousands of students, their families, and their communities. They have a 98% gradu graduation rate, and 96% of the graduates go on to college. When you come here and see what these students have to do to get to school, to come from Juarez, most of them come from Juarez, and they have to get up as early as 5 a.m. to leave their house and make the long journey to get across the city and then across the bridge and finally walk their way down to the school. Uh, many of them work to help uh, pay for their schooling. It is inspiring to see their dedication, their appreciation for an opportunity, and it's inspiring to know that we can be a part of it. One of the things that astounds me is when I look back at Lydia's life, I think how easily all of this could have gone down a different path. She had moved to Sherman, Texas, and in a span of just 11 or so years, she got married, moved to Texas, gave birth to four children, and lost her husband and three of those children all in that time frame. I can't imagine the incredible grief that she suffered. And yet, she didn't sink into a position of helplessness or she didn't just turn inside. Here was a single mother, a woman in that day and age, moved to El Paso and was determined to make a difference because of her selflessness, because of her courage and her commitment, even in the midst of great personal pain, so many lives have been changed. This world is different because Lydia Patterson lived and lived well. I hope all of us will remember 
We are called to make a difference in life. Let's live courageously, selflessly, and with boldness, sharing God's love and bringing hope to the world. I hope you'll join me tonight for Wheat, Wheat Days with Wendy and tomorrow morning as I again host Coffee with Bob and I'll be able to share a little bit more of Lydia Patterson Institute. Have a great day.